don't stop. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Vlogmas number 15. So I wanted to come through and show you guys how I optimize my time a little bit more. So I do a little bit of multitasking. So right now I'm going to go ahead and start dinner. Once I start dinner, this is actually going to serve as one of my meal preps for the week. So we are going to make some chili today and I'm using the, the tube hamburger meat and I picked this up. I think I got this from a Walmart if I'm not mistaken or either Ingles, one of the two. So uh, go ahead and get this all done that way. I save money, one, because I don't have to buy food at work. Two, I save time because I don't have to cook every day for myself or for the baby. And three, it's economically smart because I'm saving my time so I don't have to run back and forth to the store to get meals prepared. For that week so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this part here and I will come and show you how I multitask again Alright guys, so now that the food is on, um, I like to try to find something else to do um, just so I can feel like I'm productive. So today is going to be wash day for my hair. -a. So, I'm just going to go ahead, take these braids down, get my conditioner, and I'll show you guys how I do that. guys this is what my hair looks like when I take my braids down um, as you can see since I colored it I have not had any breakage not major breakage anyway so we're doing good um, this is all my new growth right here Okay, so this is what we look like. And before I start doing the conditioner, I'm gonna take um, 
take a load of clothes downstairs and let those be washing. That way, once I finish deep conditioning, which I'm probably deep conditioned for about an hour or so, that way I could just go ahead and move the clothes from the dryer or from the washing machine to the dryer. So just another multitasking thing that I do. Okay. <laughs> Cause he ate all his food. <laughs> all right, so I gotta clean the kitchen and um, let this sit in my head at least till 8:15. Then I rinse it out. But I'm telling you, I'm watching Ayana and oh my gosh, every episode that has come on, I have cried. Okay. <laughs> all right, y'all. See you in a minute. I ain't see you. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Bye! All right, guys, so I got AJ down. He's in bed. It is 10.05 at night. So I just got out the shower, rinsed my hair out. So now I'm just chilling here and I'm going to go ahead and 
braid my hair, get ready for work tomorrow, and get it ready, get my hair ready to go back under my wig. So, get ready to wow everyone yeah. this holiday season. I'm watching, uh, what is this? Um, ready for love for the people in uh, Atlanta, you know, that's looking for love. So, <laughs> it's so funny because many years ago I made that video about the ratio of women to men and the comments that I would get on there. Oh my gosh, that's not true and blah, 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 but here we are. And these, these ratios that this show is giving is a lot higher than the ones that I gave. They saying 20 to 1. Yeah, 20 women to one man. It's crazy. It's crazy out here in these streets, child. That's why I just let God, child, give, give me my king, honey, because I ain't finna go out here and try to find nothing, find nobody. For mornings that are straight up garbage. I'm good. Turn it all around. So I put on my hair that argon oil. So I, that's all I put on there. I got these barely worn for tonight. And I paid a hundred dollars for them. I would have paid over I really feel like I want to oil my scalp. Download the free Poshmark app now and use offer code Love Posh. Kind of tight. No cover-up spray here. Cheaper aerosols can cover up odors, burying them in a flowery fog. Switch to Febreze Air Effects. Febreze eliminates even the toughest odors from the air. Just kind of tight right now. Febreze. You gotta get in there. Like... I'm Smile, honey. <laughs> First kid. Ready. Here we go. By their second kid, every parent is an expert and more likely to choose loves than first-time parents. Live, learn, and get love. And I tell you, it seemed like the. You said I want things. Did you get it? It seemed like the busiest time for parenting is like in the in the evening. Um, I don't know. Y'all tell me if y'all you know mothers still out there that that watch me. Y'all tell me, is that is that what where, where you feel like most of your time goes? Is like right there around dinner time, like right before dinner time. Um, and it's just like, okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, I gotta hurry up, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And that's why I was like, okay, no, we can't do this. I need I need a plan. I need to be able to say, okay, this is my routine because, you know, when I was just, when it was just me, I had a routine and I stayed in that. So when I, when AJ came, I'm like, okay, I got to add him into the routine. And even though I had that thought in my head, it didn't come out like that because He's a kid, so he can't just, okay, I got to fall in with what you're doing. I had, no, I had to work things around him. So if I wanted to keep going with my YouTube channel, I had to work him in to that. You know, make, either have him to be a part of it or do it where, you know, he sleep or at the daycare or what have you. So it, it kind of worked itself out in that aspect. I had to do the same thing. Like if I have to work on the hair company, I had to do that when he sleep. 
I have to clean the house when he sleep. Because that's what I did when my kids were coming up. Of course, I ain't had a hair company then. But, um, I did my house cleaning when they were asleep. And I did studying when they were asleep or gone to school or whatever. So, yeah, y'all just share with me what y'all did. Um, or even what you do as part of your routine. How, how, what do you do? Do you write things down? Do you uh, just know this is what I got to do and you just go off your dome? Or, you know, what do you do? So, but yeah, I'm just going to sit up here and get my hair done for tomorrow. I wanted to make sure I popped myself back in here and said good night to you guys. And just close out the vlog instead of just ending it abruptly and just like have y'all hanging until tomorrow. So, yeah. That's about it for me. I'm just going to sit up here and watch the rest of this Ready to Love program. <laughs> and see how all this comes out for these young folks that's trying to find their way. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Stay focused, stay blessed, and stay fancy.